Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be learning how to write numbers in words. And what do you need to know, Niall, to be able to write numbers in words correctly? Um, when, like, at the start of it, it will always have a capital letter. You need to know if it has commas and... Uh, What's what the most important thing? You need to know your spellings. You need to know how to spell the words. Very good. Yes. So can we start off with, can you make any three-digit number on the board for us? So what number is that? 890. And basically, when you're writing a number in words, it would look just as you would say it. Yeah. So you've got a bunch of words there that you can put together to make numbers. Uh, so can you tell us, how would you write 890? 8. Put an 8. Is that the correct 8? No, it is not, because it does not have a capital letter on the okay. floor. But this 8 does. It does have a capital letter. Because it's at the start. Yes. Okay, so we have 8. Eight hundred and ninety. Eight hundred and ninety. Brilliant. Can you take six, two, and three? And can I put them in what order I want? Yes. Okay. Six hundred and twenty-three. So that's six hundred and twenty-three. So how would you write six hundred and twenty-three in words? Um, six hundred and twenty-three. Okay, brilliant. Can you put the number five, six, seven, eight on the board? It will have four digits now when it goes into thousands. And how would we say that number? Five thousand six hundred and seventy-eight. And is there anything else that we can put in that number to make it easier to read out? So can you explain what you're doing? I'm going to put a comma. Okay, so you're going to put a comma to separate the thousands. Yes, to the hundred. Okay, so can you write, can you read it again? 5,678. So, Niall, you're going to write that number in words and you need to do it exactly like it sounds. 5,678. Um, so 5,678, we have our number up there, and... So what if I say to you there's something missing? 5,678. And what did you do after you said 5,000? You paused, why did you pause? I don't get it. Because there's meant to be a comma. Just like the number. Oh wait, it would there would be a comma in top. in the word as well. So move over. So we would say five thousand, comma, six hundred and seventy-eight. Does that make sense? Yep. My comma kind of looks like a bit like a banana, a black banana. <laughs> okay, very good, Niall. Okay, we're going to do another one. Change the numbers to two, three, five, nine. Two, three, five, nine. Okay. 
Okay. And what number is that? Um, 2,359. Very good. So let's see what you would change in the worded one underneath. Okay. Um, so we've done 2,359. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if I say there's one mistake there and I want you to have a look and see if you can find it. Uh, uh, can you explain? My first letter didn't have a capital. It has to have a capital T, okay, not a lowercase t. Very good. Okay, now it's better, all right? Now that's perfect. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to do one more four-digit number, and then we'll go on to our quiz. Okay. So let's do seven four zero eight. So how do you say it? 7,408. Very good. Okay. Okay, are you happy with that? Um, no, I'm not happy with that. Are you sure? Hmm, let me see. Hmm. Yes. Look again. I get it now. I didn't put my comma in the right place. It would normally go Okay, can you read it out for us now? Okay. 7,408. Very good. 7,408. Very good. So you take them down now and let's start with our quiz. Are you ready? Yes. Before we start, you're going to do some spelling. So that's part of the quiz. So you just look at the camera and spell the word that I'm asking you. And what can anyone watching at home do as well? Oh yeah, if you want, you guys can join in and see if you can get the answer correct too. Okay, brilliant. If so I get it correct. Can you spell Nile the number eight? E-I-G-H-T. Can you spell 70? S-E-V-E-N-T-Y. Very good. Can you spell 30? T-H-I-R-T-Y. Very good. Can you spell 15? F-I-F-T-E-E-N. Good. Can you spell hmm, 20? T-W-E-N-T-Y Okay, I think you're ready to write some numbers. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you the digits of the number first and you write the digits of the number. And top. then I write the number and down. Then you write the number. Okay. So first one is 584. 584. Nile Angelo, how were we meant to see that? <laughs> Just a little bit bigger, it doesn't need to be. Okay, just a little bit bigger. Yes. Five, eight, four. Five, eight, four. Okay, so you can start writing and you can read it out as you write. Five hundred. We want to be able to see your writing, remember. Can I write cursive? If you want. Yeah, I normally write cursive. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to check it now. 584. Correct. Very good. Hopefully you guys can read my writing. <laughs> Underneath that, I hope everybody at home got it correct as well. Underneath that, can you write the digits? 6, go a bit lower. Okay, let's have a look. Six thousand comma seven hundred and thirty two brilliant good job Naya let's do I'm one doing my more stop. okay good even better let's do one more underneath that okay can you write four zero two Nine. Four thousand and twenty-nine. Okay, Nancy, can you read it out for us? Four thousand and twenty-nine. Four thousand and... There's no hundred. In a hundred, so you didn't put in a comma. Okay. So we've got four thousand and twenty nine. Okay, then how was that lesson for you? It was good, um, and I hope you guys liked it and got the questions right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, subscribe now. Bye! Don't forget to press that like button. Bye! Hello, welcome to Math with Nile. Today we'll be doing. Ah! Hello, welcome to Math with Nile. Today we'll be. Ah!